It's like a nightmare come true, and it played out of the streets of New York City. A man left bleeding on the sidewalk as dozens of people simply walk right by, not offering help. NBC's Jeff Rawson has this disturbing story and a warning. Some of what you're about to see you may find hard to watch. The surveillance tape is chilling. Just off camera, this woman is mugged. That's when police say a good Samaritan jumped in to help. The mugger stabbed him and ran away. The injured Samaritan chases him before collapsing on the sidewalk. Over the next hour and 20 minutes, more than 25 people passed by and did nothing. In one case, a man took a picture on his cell phone camera. Another lifted his body and walked off, leaving him for dead. By the time emergency workers arrived, it was too late. When you saw that video, what went through your mind? I thought it was sad. I said, we shouldn't be cruel to each other. At the minimum, someone should call 911. Anybody that would do that and just leave them there to die, that's no morals, you know? No morals, no conscience. And it's happened before. In Hartford, Connecticut, a 78-year-old man was hit by a car on this busy road. At least nine drivers and countless pedestrians passed him by. He later died. In Brooklyn, New York, a patient in a psych ward collapsed face down, unconscious in the waiting room. Hospital staff and other patients ignored her for nearly an hour. She also died. And in Seattle earlier this year, it was security guards who stood by as this girl was beaten by a group of teenagers. Psychologists say there's an explanation for this, something called the bystander effect. Believe it or not, the more people around, the less likely it is for someone to help you. There's an assumption that someone else must be helping out. We're motivated to try to fit into our social environment. We're influenced by others. Uh, we want to do what others do. Our behavior will follow. He says we're hardwired to look away from the notorious case of Kitty Genovese in 1964, stabbed to death in New York as neighbors ignored her screams, to this latest case more than 40 years later, where a man may have been saved if not for the indifference of his neighbors. Jeff Rawson, NBC News, New York.